you're welcome to Win Business Talk with Winnie. First, you apologize for the delay, not intentional, though, you know, due to some technical issues, you know. But we're here. Thanks for your patience. We love you. Okay, before we go to the business proper for the day, we're going to be taking our micro business news in view. Okay? We will. All right. A recent report shows that in Nigeria, we have over 37.7 million micro businesses in Nigeria. And that accounts for 84% of total jobs in the country. That's amazing. Really amazing. Secondly, the Smedian holds a talent show for youth ages between the um, 18 to 34 years. Okay. And the venue is Cultural Center, Calabar. The venue is Cultural Center, Calabar. And the date is from the 1st to 4th of December, 2020. Okay? All right. And um, internal candidates of this in the Calabar area should have notable talents in the areas like drawing, sewing, design, paper art, makeup, and photography okay so those interested should reach any of that name here in WIMP and we're going to direct you and we're going to direct you on um, how to go about it okay all right so um, having said all of that we're going to be going to the business proper and we're going to be introducing our guests for the day yes our guests for the day all right so we're going to be um, um, having a one-on-one -on -one talk with him and he is right here with us, right here in the studio with us and he is Mr. Obabike Na. Yes, he is the CEO of George's World of Baking. Yes, he is right here. You're welcome sir. Good evening. How are you doing? Okay, so how are you doing? How is everything? I hope you're good. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm all fine. right, I'm all right, good. all right. Thank you so much. So tell us, tell us. Uh, we really want to know. Um, let's get to meet you. Let's get to meet who is um, this person, Judges World of Baking. Let's get to meet you. Okay. Um. um uh, Also known as Judges World of Baking. Okay. I have from Opa East, Ndoki, Abia State, in Abia State. Okay. Yeah. But basically, I did it in the state. Okay. Okay. It's okay. All right. So let's get to know, you know, what inspired Judges World of Baking? We don't want to know. Yeah. What really inspired Judges World of Baking is. Uh, so many things, you know, like uh, when I first of all started, when I started as a baker, so at the point after so many years, some, some years and all that, I was really thinking of, you know, trying to do something different from other bakers, mostly in Nigeria, trying to do something that bakers in Nigeria never thought of doing. So that was why I have to come up with that idea, you know. So I was just thinking of you know, trying to go global, people knowing me internationally and locally and all that. So I was just thinking about uh, how will I do it? So I said, okay, let me let me make it up. Yeah, go into social media and you understand, creating up a page and all that. So that was how I this sort of thing. I was just trying to say, oh, what would be a befitting name mm -hmm. to read? And my name is George. George. Yeah. Okay. So I decided to say, okay, let me use my name, okay. George's World, World of Baking. So that is how it would be the name came about. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. So we need to wonder, George, where, where is the name coming from? Because I name is Uba now. Yes, so yes. Uh, we need to wonder, where is the George yes, coming yes. from? <laughs> you know? Okay, interesting. Yeah. So, how did it all you know, get started? How did this start? You know, we, we, of course, for every business, for every you know, venture, there's a the starting point. So, how, how did you get started? Well, when I first of all started, like, I started on, I started on you know, trying to build 
you do. Like, um, bro, how I started was that after working in, a, in, in some bakery as like a manager and all that, so I said, okay, let me try and build up my own page. So it wasn't really easy then, but I still have to try my effort and all that, you know, trying to make sure that everything works out. Because for every time, oh, I'm, so, um, I'm kind of, you know, oh, I'm so tense about having this first job. How did you feel? Mm -hmm. Were you, were you tense? Were you excited? I was amazed. I was, uh, I was excited. That's to me. I was happy. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, I was really happy. Okay, you know, trying to see something that I was wishing for mm -hmm. to come to pass. So mm -hmm. I was really happy there okay. when I got the job. Okay. So tell us, what, what basically do you do, you know, once, so for those watching us, tell us what basically do you do? Is it just baking or what to know? Yeah, it's like Georgie sort of baking, mm -hmm. and sort of, Georgie sort of baking consists on uh, baking, okay. and um, like the consultants like mm -hmm. we want to learn, uh, like, there are some kind of people who want to start a baking business, mm -hmm. uh -huh. but you know, they need someone who is into, who is really into the business, mm -hmm. who has the ideas mm -hmm. and all that to give them the guidelines mm -hmm. and how to go about it. So that's my job. My job is to say, okay, just you want to do it, we give you confidence mm -hmm. on, uh, on how to go about it, uh, tell you how to run the business in a profitable way. Yes, okay. in a profitable way. Telling you how to run the business in such a way that you don't need to run into loss. Okay. You understand? Because mm -hmm. some person is you know most of them are there, there are, there are many people out there thinking on the kind of business to do mm -hmm. to go into, but they don't really have someone to tell them what to do mm -hmm. and what not to do. So just sort of baking is there to give you that courageness, telling you everything, including um, the, how to go about it, how to get the equipment, mm -hmm. how to start and everything. Like starting from the scratch down to the end, making sure that your business stands and, and, and all that. Mm -hmm. so that's it. That's mm -hmm. it. Yeah. All right, because some of our viewers here, they will be wondering: Is it capital intensive to start a bread business? You know, do we need to break? A bank to get the money. Is, 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 is it something that requires so much capital to start with? Wow, wow, wow. You know, bakery business requires um, money, probably. Mm -hmm. It requires money. But when it comes to bakery business, it's level by level. It depends on how you want to run it. Okay. It depends on maybe how much budget you have. And that is why Jolly sort of baking is here. Maybe your business, maybe your budget is maybe a million naira. And you're thinking, ah, how do I get this and this and all that? That's why I'm here. I'm telling you how to, giving you a, 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 a guideline on how to make this or that for me when you to achieve a dream. Mm. Yeah. So you don't really need to build the bank before you start up the business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it depends. There are some people who run a bakery business locally. Mm. Locally, there are some, some people who run the business standardly. Mm -hmm. There are some people who run the business uh, 
many and they'll still get the kind of quality bread that people out there are looking yeah, for. It all depends on choice. It depends on what you want to do to your customer, mm-hmm. what you want to do to people out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it depends. It depends on the kind of product you really want to be out there. Mm-hmm. You know, there are some persons, mostly in Nigeria, okay. they don't really believe in quality aspects. You know. Some persons, not not, yeah, not everybody. Not everybody. <laughs> okay. But some people have come have come across where yeah, some people will tell you, um, don't worry, what is there is that I want my business. My business is not for everybody. Mm. You understand? Mm. It's not for everybody. I have my market. I have to build up my market. Depending on the quality, people also have business with quality products. But when you get to know you want to call those uh, large quantity and all that, you go for them. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. So that's it. Interesting. Wow, that's lovely. Okay, so for anybody that wants to start up a bread business or baby shop can always reach out to you, yes? Yeah. You're yeah. going to um, give um, every detail, every help and support the person needs. Yeah. Okay. Is it for free? <laughs> I'm sure it's not for free because they, for they, free. they have to pay they for to the pay service for and all that. Say, yeah. Okay, so you can be called upon anywhere and kind of anyway. go for the job anyway. and all that. Yeah. Wow, it's okay. So, how old? How old is Johnny Hall of Baking? How old is Wow. Mm. Interesting. So tell us, how has been the journey so far? Has it been, has it been all rosy? Has it been, you know? So uh, let's get to know how has been the journey so far. Well, in you know, in this, sometimes they say any business without um, profit mm. is no longer business. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> so my my focus, my aim is always trying to reach out something that. And I will generate profit. Mm. Yeah. I don't really work on loss at all. Mm. When it comes to business, I don't work on loss. I try as much as possible to you know to make out and to make sure that whatever whatever I'm doing there's a profit to it. So that's it. That's my own. But some people will tell you in business you have work. Definitely you have work. Not that we it, 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 it depends on how you manage your business, mm-hmm. you understand? Mm-hmm. Depends on how you manage that, and depends on your consistency mm-hmm. and continuity and all that, and how you want to run it. Mm-hmm. So that's it. Okay, hmm. interesting. So tell me, uh, what, what can you say about bread business in Nigeria? How, how is the industry? Is it um, because I want to know, please, before I go into what, 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 what's, what's the industry like? Is it a promise industry? Is it something that that is um, booming. I want to know more about this industry in Nigeria. Yeah. How, how, how when it comes to the bread industry or bakery industry in Nigeria, it's something that's really, really. Mm-hmm. That's my question. So it's something that um, really, really, you know, something that is something. It's it's growing. It's something. It is a is a con- is a food. You know, mm, it's, it's, it's yeah. food. People it's eat food. bread people every eat day. Bread every day. Okay. Millions of people. Millions. Eat, uh, millions and you know, people. we have over 180 million Nigerians. Yeah, Nigerians you know. So almost everybody eats bread. Almost eat everybody eats bread. Mm. So it's something that is very easy. Like once you know, it's something that won't go out. It goes into the market. Mm. You, must you, must you must sell. You must sell. Mm. I like. I love that. You must sell. You must sell. Did you hear that? You must sell. Definitely. Okay. No matter how it is. Mm. Whether the economy is good or not, people must buy bread. People must eat bread. During the hard time, the, the pandemic, people, the people, people were still eating bread. Uh, can can during, you imagine? During the pandemic, people were having, we are, then we are having a shutdown and all that. But bakery is mm. never shut down. Yeah, see, bakery is where we were producing more bread. Producing more bread, mm. doing different kind of locations mm. to you understand to distribute and all that. So. Mm. It, it, it's bread business is something that everybody, almost everybody eats bread. Right. It's very, very so you're, you're, you're actually advising somebody to come into the bread business, like person will succeed. Yeah. It will, it will, it will boom. Yeah, definitely. Definitely it will boom. Mm. Definitely it will boom. Mm. 
interesting. Yeah, interesting. I like that. So, um, how, what what have been the challenges in the bread? Because it, when, when, now we are talking about oh, it's going to boom, it's going to boom. There's money in this bread business and all that, you know. But then let's talk about the challenges. Sure. Of course, there should be challenges in the bread business. We want to know so that someone like me, if I want to go into the bread business, let me have an idea of what the challenges, the challenges you get in here. So let's 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 hit it. Well, there are some certain challenges. Yeah, like I always say, it all depends on how you run up the business. It all depends on the strategy. The strategy way you want to go to run up the business. Mm -hmm. and, you know, you almost, you challenge, one of the key challenges in bread business is that you know it's not really easy for you to just come into a business just like people like people are recognizing Genesis for mm -hmm. it, and you just come in and you really want to get into the market. You need to do something different for you for you to be able to gain the after of these people. Exactly. Something it, different, something yeah. Something really different. Mm -hmm. Something really, really different mm -hmm. to come in. You understand? Mm -hmm. So another thing again is that food is not really easy. That is why right. anything you're doing you just have to do for someone who is a professional in that. Okay. Okay. So you need a mentor, a guy. Yeah. Exactly. There are some person that they will say, okay, since I have the money, let me just run it. Mm. I just run it without the idea of anybody. Yes. And that's so, where people make the mistake. That's where make the mistake. Yes. Like, like there is one man, like, Bentley, but when I. When I went to do a consultancy for them, mm -hmm. so when I went to his place and all that, the, the man never brought in a consultant. Mm. He never involved. He was really trying to get more structure and all that. At the point, it's even more important now because what the kind of equipment I would advise him to get mm. was not really the kind of equipment to actually. To buy. to buy. Mm. And when you look at it, the same amount of money he used in buying this equipment is mm. same similar to the one I'll definitely tell him. To to buy. You, know, you know, some people want to, since this man doesn't know the idea, mm. they say, let's just, you know, let's just do it for me. He doesn't know. Mm. Let's just do it for me. I'll just send it and all that. So, uh, that's to another more challenges again we have in the business. Is, mm. You know, like some people, like some people, they don't want to run it, and they don't want to try and maintain it. Like some girl they buy, they find a girl in the market. Like some times I go from market to home, I buy, I sell my product, I buy product outside. Mm. I just take them mm. I eat them and I eat. You know, I see when you are just want to eat. Mm. You just want to know to how know the, 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 the state of the hygiene of that bread. Yeah. yeah. The hygiene and the taste mm -hmm. and all that. So there are some things you see, you know, there are some certain things that you always see in that bread. In the bread. Oh, boy. So it's, it's really, really, it's, it's something that whenever you're running that Buy their products that are selling in here. Okay, okay. Oh, so interesting. So you see, that's why it's very important to have a guy. If you, for those of you, um, um, us watching right now, if you want to go into a bread business, please look for a guide or a mentor or a consultant like George. Okay, he's going to put you through. He's going to guide you. He's going to give you every even before you buy your your baking equipment. Please reach out to him. His number will be posted to the group so that you can always reach out to him. Very important. Okay? All right. So, um, another thing I wanted to ask is um, as uh, not just for the bread industry, generally, generally, 
small businesses in Nigeria. What, what, what was your view about small business in Nigeria? Uh, has it been has it been rosy? I know a lot of people go through some challenges managing small businesses in Nigeria and all that. So, well, what's your view about small business in Nigeria? Has it, what, what, what do you think about it? What I think about um, small business in Nigeria is that we all need to keep time, you know, no matter what. You know, they, are, they always say, like, I used to read that this man's like, what is he? He's a, he's an American uh, businessman. I always read this. You know, during the half time, that was when you see real business people come in. You know, you don't even care about the situation. They always want to try and come up with something different. They always want to be updated. So, like, a lot of people, it's not that easy for someone to run a business here to where we come from. But just for as much as you can to run it. Definitely, you try and do something. I prefer doing a business than working for someone. Food. 
Wow. <laughs> All right. So tell us what's your travel destination or your dream where you you know dream or hope to travel to some day to relax and all that. Yeah, my travel destination and I always want to travel outside, you know, try to meet people mm. outside where I come from, mm. outside where I am currently. Always want to try as much as possible to meet new places and you know, try as much as possible to go global. You know, you know. My travel destination mostly I always want to go and do a Sunday. Wow. And I always okay. I always want if I'm going there it should be the kind of it should be because of the like that. Mm. So. Wow. Okay, okay. Mm. Alright. So um someone is asking a question. Please if you have questions, please feel free to drop me your questions, okay? Someone is asking, can the training be done online? Or was, the, was it the physical? Yeah, it must not like I said before. I created Jody sort of booking for the concert. And then when I created that platform, mm -hmm. I was just thinking of how do I go about it. But when I started it, you know, I started seeing calls coming mm -hmm. and all that. So some people, some people are far from my destination. They will ask me how do I how do they do about it? So I have to place in an online training. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you so very much. So, um, we need to get your number. We need to get your name for those watching. You know, judges will of baking. Then your number. So for those who watching can, you know, pick it up. Okay, I just saw it. my number is uh, 080 080 38 38 44 Okay, so that is it. Uh, it's been an amazing moment. It's been um, a wonderful time with the CEO of George's World of Baking, Mr. Obabike. Nah. Well, I really learned a lot in this um, you know, program and I'm so um, happy about this, you know. Want to say a very big thank you for coming on the show. Hmm. Okay, so um, from Wim, we have a little token for you, and um, we hope you're gonna like it, you know, and all that. Yeah. So um, we're giving you this. All right. This is from Wim from uh, Wim Mall Marketplace, and we are giving you this little token. Uh, we want to say a very big thank you for coming on the uh, show. Yeah, yes, we all appreciate you. Okay, so um, for everybody watching, want to say a very big thank you for watching this um, live show, Business Talk with Winnie. In case you missed it or you, you need um, a recap of this, you can visit our YouTube channel, okay? Win Business Talk with Winnie. And you need to watch everything that we have just said and done here. All right, so. Thank you so very much for watching. We are so grateful to you all and for your patience too. We actually took some, we actually delayed, not intentional though, but we want to say a very big thank you for watching. Till we come your way again next time. Stay tuned. Keep posting your businesses. Keep making this about it. You are important. We love you. Thank you. And God bless you. Bye.